Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Southern Angel Stamping. My name is Tammy. We are still in celebration till the end of this month. Stay tuned. I will show you what I've done with this stamp set. So keep watching. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Tammy. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and we are in celebration still. We've been in it since last month and we're going to be in it until September the 30th and if you don't know what that is, when you spend $50 or more, you get to look and get free product in this catalog. And this is on Stampin' Up! website, so you can uh, see this online. But you get to pick out something free out of this. You'll be able to pick out something. If you spend $100, there's this item. And there is these dies that you get to... Oops, did I pass them? Uh, right, right here. And I've got these. You can check out my haul. I've done some, uh, showed already some of these items. And I've also shown the catalog and shown the holiday catalog with it and everything. So you can check that out if you haven't seen those videos already. This is one of the items here. Feels like home. Real cute stamp set. And it shows products in here and all. Well, I've already shown something with it, but I was working on something uh, over the weekend, end of last week, and I actually did a card with the last paper pumpkin kit, and I showed this, and which I'll have to post some pictures because it's hard to see in the video because it's supposed to sit up and I know you can't see it very well in the video. The problem was, and it does lay flat. Now this is a pop-up, stand-up, fun fold. And this is not my own creation. Of course, I did have to figure out the configurations on, because I didn't know what the measurements were. I just saw this somewhere. I don't even know who who I saw it from. I just saw it online somewhere. Anyway, I was trying, this was, I think my first attempt, it did not fit into an envelope. Throwing stuff around. It wouldn't fit in an envelope. It was too big this way, as you can see. Just a little bit, almost had it. And then of course it wouldn't fit this way either. All right, so I went back to the drawing board and I tried again, and I thought, make me a regular size card base. And that's what I did here. The card turned out really pretty. And on this one, I used the watercolor pencils from Stampin' Up. And you can see, I actually, I used to have them both in just the, both the boxes. We have two different sets of watercolor pencils, and I have both sets and all the colors. And I got tired of pulling out the boxes and, and, and everything and then trying to remember which goes in which box. So I have one of the plain just stamping cases. And I really wish we still had the thicker cases, but because we don't have the blocks anymore, uh, wooden blocks, they got rid of those thicker cases. So I had to cram them in one of these tried this card again I thought let me try with a regular card base and I did that went ahead and made it folded it up well of course it was too big I thought well maybe it'll fit the regular size no <laughs> yes see or not regular size, but the, like the bigger envelopes. It won't. It's way too big. Way too big. It almost fits that way. Just 
just a teeny bit too big that way. So I was like, okay, well, so I worked at it and I worked at it and I worked at it. I spent all day trying to figure this out. I got plain white cardstock before I ever made another one. And I think I did this five times because I'm terrible at measurements. And I just worked at it and worked at it. And, you know, just plain cardstock like this. So I came up with two different figurations. Made sure and wrote my measurements down. This is my little book with different card measurements. I, keep. I came up with two different styles. This is a longer version, and this is more of a taller version. Both of these will fit. They fold up flat, as you can see, and they both will fit in the standard card or envelope perfectly. So, I am so happy that I figured that out. This one here, I ended up I just like my little bow there. I really got fluffy with my bow. I decided to try a different bow there. Um, I didn't finish telling you about this one. This, uh, what all I used. This, like I said, I used the watercolor. Um, I thought it turned out really pretty, actually. I used all the watercolor pencils and then went over it with the blender pens. You get three in a pack. And I used some of the um, the blue and white twine with that silver going through it. It comes with a couple of others. It's the flowers for every season. And I believe, yeah, it comes with this one. And it comes with this one. So it comes in a pack of all three. So nice, nice, uh combination of ribbons there twine I did that one and you can see where I look I did a little pop up here and then this is that stamp right there okay so I did that one and I popped it up and then did some more vines here and did the thank you and the vine there and popped all that up and the thank you came from I can't thank you enough all I did was did the thank you and I just masked the this off and I used the, this one right here the banner pick a punch I love this punch by the way it's one of my favorite when I came out with this this like my favorite punch I used all the time. I hardly ever put it away because it's sitting here all the time for me to use. That banner pick a punch is what I used on here. And then just used a piece. Actually, I think that's a paper pumpkin piece back behind there because it was just a little scrap I had. I didn't have a scrap of that. And there was a scrap of it and it matched. So I used a piece of it. Nobody knows. Because I needed a little of this Mary Merlot and that's what I had so I used that since I didn't have just a, and I wasn't going to cut another big old piece of cardstock just to put down there so that was that one and it sits up and you can put a piece of white cardstock on the back so that's and decorate it and see that's like I did this one for your message you know, it lays flat so you can write on it and everything these. I think they're cute. And then that way when you mail them and the recipient gets it, they can sit it out on their desk or where, wherever. And it's something that you know, they can keep out. And it's nice. So I was doing some to make thank you cards for people so that when they make an order, yeah, I can send them. But won't these make great birthday cards? Or Christmas cards. I'm gonna make some for Christmas, for Christmas cards because I think these are just really neat. So that's what I'm doing, and 
here is the one that actually fits in an envelope. And this one I did with the Stampin' Up markers, like these. And I used several different packs to get colors and everything. And to be honest, I didn't think I was gonna like the watercolor pencils. I thought I'd like the markers better, but you can see the two different looks here. You see the different looks? I actually ended up liking the pencils better than the markers, which is weird because I used to like markers better than pencils, but now I've really gotten where I like my pencils better. There's the different looks for you. And I used, some, oh, the DSP I used is uh, Inga Taste Designer Series Paper. I'm just dropping everything. This was Mary Merlot, and this was the Soft Suede, I think it was. Yes, Soft Suede. And this is that Bumblebee Checkered Ribbon I used on this one. And I kind of made a fancy bow. And you can see how they definitely are different sizes. But like I said, this one will fit. And this time, I'm going to make one more this size. And I'll give you the measurements on this. And, of course, it will lay flat. But I'm not going to use this card base. I'm going to use a different color. So I need to quit chit-chatting chit here. And let's get started on this. Oh, we need our trimmer. use the Mary Merlot and first of all we're just going to cut it long ways like a regular card base so this is going to be ten and a half by four and a fourth And then we have to do some scoring. So we're going to score, make some room here, at the scoring for this will be a half an inch, one and three fourths inch, three and three fourths inch, and five inches. Okay, that's what we're going to be scoring at. Okay, so you can use this trimmer right here it's got this nice little scoring blade. See this one? I love the Stampin' Up! trimmer. This is one tool you need. This is great to have. This is a silicone craft sheet. So anything that sticks to this will come right up. Close it down just like that flat. Make sure it's good and down. You can put 
your bone folder in there if you want. You give it a good press on both sides. And then open it up, pop it back up, and there's your card base. And it sits right up. So now all we have to do is decorate it. We are using the, like I said, we're going to use the in good taste designer series paper i've already got it cut he says you're going to need is for the top here is four and three and one fourths goes down there like that and then the middle piece will go right here and that is cut at four and one one eighth of a piece yeah that'll be fine and then this piece goes right here This is four and one and seven eighths. What we have so far. Okay, so we're gonna set that Here. aside. Now we need our cut and emboss machine next. And we are going to get these out and this is tasteful label dies I love these you can see how many uh, little tags are in here these are like one of my favorites and they're stitched most of them are stitched or they have these little fancy embossed look to them um, and I like how these right here, the round ones, you can like use the little circle and then have this one go over it. If you wanted a layered look with that set right there. So we're going to use this one right here. I seem to use this one a lot. It must be my favorite. And it just seems to fit so many. So I'm going to use that. And there's your little cat. Next, we're going to do some stamping. You're going to want to. What do I do with it? Uh, you're going to want to get some stamps out you're going to want to stamp out your images okay Got some things here give me a minute you want to get your memento ink out before i forget here is my host code I will also place it under the video in the description box under this YouTube video so you can get that also there and all about the cards and more about the video and find more links and all sorts of interesting things down there. All you have to do is click the show more button you'll see all kinds of information down there. Just remember about the host code and that is good until the 30th of September. So if you would like to place an order. Here's the stamp we are going to use. And I was just going to show you. You'll need the, the like the size E block or either the stamp apparatus. And the best way to do the stamp, I was going to show you. 
We got a big stamp like this. I like the stamp. Put ink on it like this. Because that way it ensures me that I'm getting, I can see that I'm getting ink everywhere instead of doing it like this. Because that way I can see that I've got ink going all over. Then I can take this and I like to use some grid paper. And if you don't have any, uh, Stampin' Up! does have a small grid pad that you can also get. I can link that also down for you. I like to line this up by looking at the top because if you try to look at the bottom, you're gonna, as I already did that once, uh, you'll make it go off and look catty, catty wonkus. Do my best. And then you give it a good press. I guess I had it on the pad because I was thinking I was going to go off. And that's why I had it on here. So there is your image. I even had an extra one just in case. This one's actually smaller. going to need extra things. So these stamps here I'm going to also be using. So I'm going to be stamping those as well. Find the box. And I'm sorry if I sound kind of scratchy or anything in my voice. this image out. Color it. Gosh, did I just land that way? Yeah, I got way too much ink on that. No, it seems like I'm getting way too much ink on it. better. That one almost looks like it's way too dark in some areas. No, they're not too bad, I guess. And then I'm going to have a couple of these. I like to stamp them. I do practice first. or something. I may have to get me a new one. Unless it's my tape. That is a possibility. Could be just my tape. Okay. Those look nice. So I need to set all that aside so I can clean those. Make sure you always clean your stamps. And then we need to also stamp this on here. Now, I just want to thank you. I don't want the, I can't thank you enough because that's not going to fit on there. And this won't be hard to do because you see the thank you, if you can see that. Zoom in on here so you can see. You see the thank you comes up darker on the stamp and it's in a different font and right here you can see it's easy to distinguish it. So you can use tape or you can use post-it notes. 
whichever is easiest for you. Just make sure it's something like masking tape or um, some kind of tape that's not too sticky that won't ruin your Usually we'll just do this. You know, it might help if I get the light and move it closer. I meant to do that. Let's get the light over here closer. Because then y'all can see better too. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. I have more light on my ca camera area. So that y'all can see too. All right, you see how I've got this? And if I zoom in, make sure and zoom in to where y'all can see, but I keep that just right there and right here. And now I'm going to ink that. You have to remember to move this. Okay. And this. You're going to have a mess. Alright. Now you've got just your thank you. You can light that up. Let me bring it down. I got too far up. I can't see what I'm doing. Line it up on my creep pad. And hopefully and it should come out straight. I mashed too hard. Oh, I mashed a little bit too hard. But there you go. So I've got just in case I messed up on that one. I've got another one that looks better. So I'm gonna use this one. I'll set that over there. Here is the image already colored. This time I tried using the blends, different blends with it. And I thought I would really like those. I found this image to be a little bit too tedious and tiny really in my opinion for the blends. I love the blends, don't get me wrong. But my eyes are not very good, okay? I have very poor eyesight. I don't, I, matter of fact, I need glasses. I haven't gotten any glasses in years. Something really difficult to see in color like this, the blends were not my favorite on this. Like I said, I was surprised that I liked, I wanted to try all three just to see it. And I was really surprised that I actually liked the pencils on this one better. Um, I'll show you all three after we get them put together. I do need to finish go ahead and coloring these. So let me get out the colors I will need. this and I'll probably I'll speed it up so that you don't have to just stare at me coloring.
there's everything cut out. Now we are ready to get this card put together. I'm gonna put this right here and we need Stampin' Dimensionals for this. fast now. Put it over here. We could put it here. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that. I think I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put this. Because then we've got all these little vines. And I think I'm gonna pop this up as well. little bit of glue. That's cute. That is cute. Let me clean my mess up. <gasps> All right, there we go. Zoom in some so y'all can see that. And isn't that cute? And then like I said, it will sit up. I will take pictures and everything. But that is just so cute. Hey y'all, I had to cut back in here <laughs> after I finished the video. I realized I forgot to add some ribbon. So I'm gonna get this um, 
flowers for every season. Little twine here. And add me a little ribbon to this. bows but whoop. I have a uh, carpal tunnel arthritis neuropathy and fibromyalgia and so my fingers do not work well with me now I used to do them really well so I probably should invest in one of them little bow maker things. Maybe I could get one someday for my birthday or something. Uh, or Christmas. Let's see if I can get it fluffed up. I hope I got it in the middle. Yeah, I really made that too long, didn't I? waste any of my ribbon, but then I want to make sure I've got plenty of uh, room. So we need glue dot. Famous glue dots. Oh, I love my glue dots. Get low. Seems like I'm getting low on everything. Okay, now here is a bow on it. So now when you see the end of the video, it's not going to have this, <laughs> but the pictures will. So if you're wondering about that, that's why, because I forgot to add it on and I'm just now doing it and having to cut in on the video. So sorry about that. I figured out how to do that and then it will lay, of course, completely flat to be placed in an envelope. So there's two different sizes, just like a regular car, if you want the longer or the shorter. And I will make sure and get these up on my blog. I get some other stuff on my blog too, but I will definitely have the information down on there for this one. I'm a little behind on my blog 
and I hope y'all will start following me also on my blog and go and if you want any information for how to make these cards. But there's all three of the cards that I made and if you want to get the stamp set, the way to get this, it's a free item for a celebration. So you can get that by purchasing $50 before the end of this month. You can purchase anything, spend the money, spend it now and get free products. That's what I always say, because uh, it's about to end. We've got about three more weeks. Please make sure you do use my host code and that if you spend $50 either in getting the next three paper pumpkins or spending the $50, you can get put in a drawing for the free paper pumpkin that I've got. right here. Got that going. That's till the end of the month. And then also if you spend $25 you can get put in a drawing for one of these packs of designer series paper that I've got. And that's till the end of the month. And I've got four packs of these. So four winners can get chosen for this. I appreciate you sharing letting other people know about all this, all the the sales and the giveaways and everything that I'm doing, my channel and all, and my business, and just anything that you could share would be appreciative. I thank y'all for watching. I appreciate the thumbs up. If you could please give me a thumbs up. That sure helps. Appreciate all the comments. If you leave me a comment and just say hello, you, you like the card, you like my channel, anything that lets YouTube know that you're watching and you like like it. And if you're a new subscriber or you're new to my channel, uh, I'd love it if you would subscribe click the notification bell so that way YouTube knows to notify you on all my new videos. But I appreciate y'all and everybody that watches and has been so supportive to me and my channel and, and helps me out with my business and all. I thank you so much. Also I want to let you know that when you place an order for anybody that places an order and any time, every time you place an order, whether it's you get a paper pumpkin every month, whatever it is, I will give you a thank you card. You'll always get a thank you card from me. Sometimes I'll put some extra goodies in it maybe. I just wanted to let y'all know about that as well. You'll always get a card. And you never know, it might be one of these. Again, thank you for watching and y'all have a very blessed day and I'll see you again soon in the next one.